Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. But let's start from the beginning. It all started when I saw some information about elections to our city's youth council. I thought about it for a while, but decided to just ignore it. Yes, it sounded kinda cool and interesting, but I doubted myself and thought that somebody better than me is going to register and even if I did register, I would lose in the elections. But then, I talked about it with my mom and she told me to at least try it. Then, I talked to my friends and they dared me to do it. So I decided to register. And there I was, full on campaign mode. I made some posters, put them out in school and went to every class in our school to say something about myself and encourage people to vote for me. Previously, I didn't even know that I'm capable of doing something like this. But here we are. And then it happened. The day of election results came in and I was elected. I was really happy and excited. But of course, it wasn't that simple. Immediately after being elected, I realized something. It really happened. I got elected and I have to represent my voters. I started being stressed out about it. Will I be able to represent my school and voters in a good way? Maybe it wasn't for me after all. But I had no choice. I was now elected and I had to do it. So, now what? Firstly, I had to go to the first meeting and meet the people that I will be working with for the next two years. When I got there, I was really stressed out and anxious, as you can see in this picture. When I talked with other people that got elected, I was feeling like I'm almost the worst of them all. Everyone was special in some way, but I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt really bad and had imposter syndrome. After some time, I realized that we are all special and not worse than them. I'm just different. It was first time that I had joined some kind of organization and I had to give myself some time to get used to it. Now, I'm a proud member of Cieszyn City Youth Council and I'm in charge of our social media team. This is my story of overcoming my own fears and doubts and I encourage you to don't overthink too much. Sometimes you just have to take action and see what happens. That's all. Mm -hmm.